Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Vision Innovating. So today we discuss about the Great Wall of Japan. Stretching some 430 kilometers from the northern prefecture of Wet Fukushima prefecture in the south the, and reaching a height of 15.5 meters at some points, the Great Wall has become a concrete link between the prefecture and their sad memories of the 3.11 disaster. The Great Wall of Japan 1001 East investigate the controversies surround the building of Japan's enormous tsunami wall. To avoid a recurrence of the 11 March 2011 tragedy, the Japanese authorities have undertaken the construction of a gigantic concrete barrier to prevent tsunamis. It is 14.46 on 11 March 2011 and half of Japan is shaking as long as and powerful seismic tremor hits the northeast coast of the country. The Great East Japan earthquake of 11 March was the most powerful quake ever recorded in Japan and the fourth most powerful earthquake to the world has failed since modern records began in 1900. Following these huge tremors, a gigantic tsunami struck the northeast region of Taku, killing almost 15,000 people and leaving 2500 more missing. 3.11 was the largest natural catastrophe to hit Japan since the 1995 Kobe earthquake. This year is the 10th anniversary of the quake and reconstruction efforts in the Tohoku area continue. Whole towns and their communities are slowly being rebuilt. Some are relocating further inland, away from the ocean. Others like the town of Onagawa in Milegi Prefecture have decided to build their new houses and offices on a series of artificial plates huge flat top hills which it is hoped will keep the new towns out of danger. At sea level, as a reminder of the tragedy, are the remains of ruined house at the side of new road next to a convenience store. One of the biggest projects underway, however, is a sea wall and a wave barrier which is already being called the Great Wall of Japan. Stretching some 432 kilometers from the northern prefecture of Aiwet to Fukushima prefecture in the south and reaching a height of 15.5 meters at some points, the Great Wall has become a concrete link between the prefecture and their sad memories of the 3.11 disaster. Though it will help protect communities from future threats, the wall is unsightly and cuts its way haphazardly through the landscape, separating the fishing villages from the sea and destroying their surrounding countryside. To date, the cost of the huge project is estimated to be around 9.2 billion pounds. Every day, almost 10 years after the disaster, heavy duty trucks can be trailing along the coast roads of Miyagi and Iowa transporting soil, sand and other materials for the wall's construction. Wherever you arrive in port along this coast, you are greeted by the same sight, a light grey barrier running along the sea's edge. In some places, it is higher than others, sometimes it is a steep slope, something a huge sheer wall. But it has just an purpose to protect people from tsunamis. The main idea behind building the sea wall is protection as well as slowing the speed of a large wave to gain some precious seconds or minutes in the event of a major tsunami. The human made barrier can hold back the sea but also helps reduce the power of the wave and delay the flooding. In 2011, some people might have survived with an extra couple of minutes leeway. The sea wall will halt tsunamis and prevent them from inundating the land, said Hiroyus 
Hawaii researcher at the Port and Airport Research Institute in Yokosuka near Tokyo even if the tsunami is bigger than the wall the wall will delay flooding and guarantee more time for evacuation so this is all for today's video if you like to see more videos then please like share and subscribe my channel thank you